हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्प सुभाष नगर से फ्रॉम श्री दिगंबर जैन गुरुकुल प्रचाला सोलापुर आई शैल वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस नाइन्थ मैथमेटिक्स पार्ट टू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री पार्ट टू फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑन एक्सेस ओरिजिन कॉर्डनेट्स कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ ए पॉइंट on the axis to plot the points of given coordinates and problems from the practice set 7.1 today we will discuss with following sub topics of this chapter that is lines parallel to the x axis lines parallel to the y axis graph of a linear equations and problems from the practice set 7.2 so let us start with lines parallel to the x axis friends on a graph paper plot the following points that is a 5 4 b 2 4 c minus 2 4 d minus 4 4 e 0 4 and f 3 4 here you could see in the given points the second coordinate that is the y coordinate 4 is shown with the pink color which is constant you can see observe the coordinates of the given points that will come to know did you notice that y coordinates of all the points are equal yes those are equal all the points are collinear yes from the graph it came to know those are all collinear to which axis is this line parallel clearly from this graph we come to know that this line is parallel to the x axis the y coordinate of every point on the line da is 4 it is constant therefore the line da is described by the equation y is equal to 4 if the y coordinate of any point is 4 will be on the line da the equation of the line parallel to the x axis at a distance of 4 units from the x axis is y is equal to 4 i think you come to know how to draw a parallel line to the x axis friends Can you draw a line parallel to the x-axis at a distance of six units from it and below the x-axis? Below, yes, we can draw it. Will all of the points minus three, minus six, ten, minus six, half and minus six be on that line? Yes, because here the second coordinate, that is y coordinate, minus six, minus six, minus six is constant. What would be the equation of the line? The equation of the line is equal to y is equal to minus six. Now we'll see lines parallel to the y-axis. Friends, again on a graph paper, plot the following points. That is p minus four three. Then q minus four zero, r minus four one, yes minus four minus two, t minus four two, u minus four minus three. friends here also again observe the coordinates of the points here did you notice uh, that the x coordinate of all the points are same which is minus 4 shown with the pink color are all the points collinear yes all those points are collinear to which axis is this line parallel certainly this line is parallel to the y axis the x coordinate of every point on the line ps is minus 4 it is constant therefore the line ps can be described by the equation x is equal to minus 4 every point whose x coordinate is minus 4 lies on the line ps so the equation of the line parallel to the y axis at a distance of 4 unit and to the left of y axis is x is equal to minus 4 friends again we will see few questions can we draw a line parallel to the y axis at a distance of 2 units from it and to the right yes we can draw will all the points 2 10 2 8 2 1/2 2 on that line yes what would be the equation of this line the equation of this line is x is equal to 2 since each x coordinate of these three points is 2 means which is equal therefore the equation will become x is equal to 2 friends we will see now graph of linear equations on a graph paper 
plot these points that is 0 1 1 3 2 5 are they collinear if so draw line that passes through them so the graph is looking like this after plotting the points 0 1 here 1 3 and 2 5 these three points are collinear the nature of the graph is a straight line through which coordinate does this line pass write the coordinates of the point at which it intersects the y-axis and show any point in the third quadrant which lies on this line write the coordinates of that point friends to answer these questions it will be like this first question it was through which quadrant these lines the line passes through the quadrant this first here second and third second question write the coordinates of the point at which it intersect the y-axis at the y-axis it is intersecting 0 1 and third show any point in the third quadrant which lies on the line you can say this point which is 1 and minus 1 minus 1 so friends remember that the y coordinate of every point on the x axis is 0 conversely every point whose y coordinate is 0 is on the x axis therefore the equation of the x axis will become y is equal to 0 also the x coordinate of every point on the y axis is 0 conversely you can say every point whose x coordinate is 0 on the y axis therefore the equation of the y axis is now x is equal to 0 so friends now we'll discuss the practice set 7.2 on the graph paper plot the points a 3 0 b 3 3 c 0 3 join a b and b c what is the figure formed so friends you will come to know the graph will be like this we have been already plotted here and after joining this we are getting a one quadrilateral and if you see the sides of these quadrilaterals that will form a square so friends we can write from this graph distance oa is equal to 3 centimeter distance ab is 3 centimeter and uh, distance BC is 3 cm, distance OC is also 3 cm. And each angle of this quadrilateral OA BC is 90. Therefore, the given figure is a square. Friends, problem number 2. Write the equation of the line parallel to the y axis at a distance of 7 units from it to its left. Friends, here will you know the equation of the line which is parallel to the y axis is x is equal to A. Since the line is at the distance of 7 units to the left of the y-axis therefore a is equal to minus 7 left side means it is a negative therefore x is equal to minus 7 is the equation of the required line third one write the equation of the line parallel to the x-axis at a distance of 5 units from it and below the x-axis friends here the equation of the line parallel to the x-axis is y is equal to b since the line is at a distance of 5 units below the x axis, therefore b is equal to minus 5. Therefore y is equal to minus 5 is the equation of the required line. Now, problem number 4. The point q minus 3 minus 2 lies on the line parallel to the y axis. q point is lying on the line parallel to the y axis. Write the equation of the line and draw its graph. So, we will draw the graph. The graph will be like this. It is to the left of the y-axis and the point is Q minus 3 minus 2. It is on in the third quadrant and it is parallel. So, we can write the equation like this. The equation of the line parallel to the y-axis is x is equal to A that we know. Here A is equal to minus 3. Therefore, x is equal to minus 3 is the equation of the required line. Problem number 5. Y-axis and line x is equal to minus 4 are parallel lines. What is the distance between them? Friends, here equation of the y-axis is x is equal to 0. Equation of the line parallel to the y-axis is x is equal to minus 4. It is given. Therefore, distance between the y-axis and the line x is equal to minus 4 is 0 minus of minus 4, which is equal to as 0 is greater than minus 4, it is 0 minus of minus 4. We will get 0 plus minus minus 2 plus 4. So, 4 units. Therefore, you can write the distance between the y-axis and the line x is equal to minus 4 and is 4 units. Problem number 6. Which of the equation given below 
have graphs parallel to the x-axis and which ones have graphs parallel to the y-axis. Four equations are given x is equal to 3, y is minus 2 is equal to 0, x plus 6 is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 5. Friends, we know that the equation of the line parallel to the y-axis is x is equal to a. Therefore, the line x is equal to 3 is parallel to the y-axis. The second equation is y minus 2 is equal to 0 means y is equal to 2. When minus 2 is brought to the right hand side, it will become plus 2. So, 0 plus 2 is 2. So, y is equal to 2 is the equation. So, here the equation of the line parallel to the x-axis is in terms of y is equal to b. Therefore, the line y minus 2 is equal to 0 is parallel to the x-axis. The third equation is x plus 6 is equal to 0. Again, 6 is brought to the right hand side. It will become minus. Therefore, x is equal to minus 6. So, the equation of the line parallel to the y-axis is x is equal to a. Therefore, the line x plus 6 is equal to 0 is parallel to the y-axis. The equation of the line parallel to the x-axis is given in terms of y is equal to b for the fourth one which is y is equal to minus 5. Therefore, the line y is equal to minus 5 is parallel to the x-axis. So, friends, uh, from these equations we can conclude uh, which of the line is parallel to the x and which of the line is parallel to the y-axis. No problem number 7. On the graph paper, plot the points a 2 3, b 6 minus 1 and c 0 5. If these points are collinear, then draw the line which includes them. Write the coordinates of the points at which the line intersect the x-axis and that of the y-axis. After plotting these uh, points, we will get the nature of the graph like this. Here a 2 3 this point, then b 6 minus 1 here it is and c 0 5 it will be here. So, these are the three points plotted the nature of the graph is looking like this. Here from this graph we come to know that the line uh, drawn intersects x axis at points d 5 0 and that of the y axis at 0 and 5. No problem number 8. Draw the graph of the following equations on the same system of coordinates. Write the coordinates of their points of intersection. So, four equations are here x plus 4 is equal to 0. First equation y minus 1 is equal to 0. Second, third is 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. And fourth is 3y minus 5 is equal to 0. Friends, uh, first of all, we have to simplify them. x plus 4 is equal to 0 means x is equal to minus 4. y minus 1 is equal to 0 means y is equal to 1. The third equation 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 means 2x is equal to minus 3. When 3 is brought to the right side, it will become minus. Therefore, x is equal to minus 3 upon 2. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1.5. Fourth is 3y minus 15 is equal to 0. 15 brought to the right. So, 3y is equal to 15. Therefore, y is equal to 15 upon 3. Therefore, y is equal to 5. The simplified equations will become in this way. After plotting the graph, the nature of the graph will be looking like this. Here we can see these are the lines that has been brought over here. After plotting this graph, x is equal to minus 4, y is equal to 1, x is equal to minus 1.5 and y is equal to 5. y is equal to 5 is this equation, x is equal to minus 1.5 is this equation, then uh, y is equal to 1, this equation and x is equal to minus 4 is this equation. These are the four lines. The coordinates of the point of intersection of x plus 4 is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 1 is a minus 4 and 1. The coordinates of the points of intersection of y minus 1 is equal to 0 and 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 are b minus 1.5 and 1. The coordinates of the point of intersection of 3y minus 15 is equal to 0 and 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 is c minus 1.5 and 5. The coordinates of the point of intersection of the line x plus 4 is equal to 0 and 3y minus 15 is equal to 0 are d minus 4 and 5. So, these are the intersecting points and this is the nature of the graph. Next, we will see problem number 9. Draw the graphs of the equations given below. x plus y is equal to 2. So, here we have to consider the three points. That is, if you take x plus y is equal to means y is equal to 2 minus x, x brought to this side. When you take x is equal to 0, you will get y is equal to 2. When you take x is equal to 1, then y is equal to, in this we are putting the values, so we will get y is equal to 1. 
2 minus x means 2 minus 1 that is 1 when x is equal to 2 at that time 2 minus 2 is 0 you are getting these three points in order to plot a graph you have to take the minimum three points so that can be tabulated in this way those all points are coordinates are uh, put in a single table it will be like this these are the points that we have to plot after plotting the nature of the graph is like this first point is 0 2 that is here second is 1 1 third is 2 0 these points are collinear and if you draw a line that will constitute these three points so it is a straight line second equation 3x minus y is equal to 0 therefore uh, we can get y is equal to 3x we will take now value of x x is equal to 0 means y is 0 x is 1 means y is 3 and x is equal to minus 1 means y is equal to minus 3 this can be summarized in a single table so points that we have to plot here are 0 0 1 3 and minus 1 minus 3 the nature of the graph that you are getting after plotting this will be a straight line these are the points 0 0 is this point 1 and 3 is this minus 1 minus 3 is this this three points constitute a single line passing through the origin a straight line now uh, 2x plus y is equal to 1 this is the third uh, equation here you will get uh, that uh, y is equal to 2x minus 1 or 1 minus 2x y is equal to 1 minus 2x uh, here uh, when x is equal to 0 you are getting y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 1 y is minus 1 x is 1 minus 1 means y is 3 after simplification you are getting the answers only the basic operations addition subtraction division and multiplication you have to carry over here and you are getting the values these all values can be summarized in a table and the table will become like this 0 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 3 these points we are going to plot and the nature of the graph is like this so first is 0 1 here it is then 1 minus 1 that will be here next is minus 1 3 it will be here and all these points are collinear friends today what we have been discussed in this uh, chapter is linear lines parallel to the x-axis lines parallel to the y-axis graph of linear equations and problems from the practice at 7.2 i think you all understood now you have to try these problems number one what is the equation of the line parallel to the x-axis and passing through the point three and seven next find the equation of the straight line parallel to y-axis at a distance of seven units to the left of the y-axis and in the adjoining uh, figure shows four lines each of which is parallel to one of the two axes determine the equation of each line here four lines you can see you have to write the equation of those lines friends you should not forget uh, the words math is an essential part of a student's life it lies the foundation for complex thinking abilities so friends i think you understood all the prepare well with these words i would like to say thank you